Hello and welcome to Edura. The Delhi police recently busted a kidney transplantation racket. At least five such rackets have been unearthed in the last seven years. In a similar case in Pune last week, documents were forced to show a donor was the wife of one of the recipients. Now, in most such cases, documents are forced to get the transplant done at a hospital authorized for such surgeries. The racketeers they target the poor and homeless people. They lure them to donate their kidneys. Now, the surgeries are also performed at unregistered facility. It is usually done by unqualified people. In the Delhi incident, it was performed by a class 10 dropout technician. Shocking, isn't it? Hospitals actually become the soft targets in such cases, when in reality the doctors are neither trained nor empowered to identify and take action against the forged documents. Now, if someone says they are the wife of the recipient, how can a doctor say they are not? And to avoid such problem, we need to punish those who are getting the documents forged and those who are forging them, right? Now, talking about the transplantation, let us understand what the law has to say. Now, there is a law in the name, the Transplantation of Human Organs and Tissues Act of 1994. The act, it says that organs can be harvested from the deceased donors or from the living relatives of the recipient. It can be children, siblings, spouse or grandparents. The act, it further allows unrelated donors such as relatives other than the close ones. For example, the long-term friends or in-laws. But important to note is that it prohibits any financial exchange. Now moving further, let us also understand why the rackets target only kidneys and why not liver or say lungs? The answer has to be an easy one. It's all about demand and supply. And kidneys are the most in demand. Now every year, an estimated 2 lakh people in India reach the end stage of kidney failure requiring transplantation or dialysis compared to only 50,000 requiring a liver transplant. Now, only about 5,000 to 9,000 kidney transplant surgeries happen each year. Another 20,000 are able to manage their disease with dialysis. The rest, unfortunately, die. Also talking about the shelf life of the kidneys, the kidney can survive longer outside the body, that is for 24 to 36 hours, than the lungs which stay outside for 4 to 5 hours and the liver 8 to 12 hours. The transplantation cost is also the lowest for the kidney at between rupees 5 lakh and 10 lakhs. These racketeers can ask for a little more and people are willing to pay because of the severe shortage. And the quality of life after the transplantation is also quite good. In fact, it is better than with dialysis, which is also costlier. And so the kidneys are in huge demand. Now, important is to know the fact that India has an expertise in kidney transplantation. Most of the urologists these days are trained in performing a kidney transplant surgery. There are hundreds of centers across India that perform the procedure. If you take, for example, liver transplant, it is very big surgery and a lot of infrastructure is required. It also poses a higher risk to the donor. The kidney transplant has now been standardized and there is no undue risk to the donor. You can live happily with just one kidney, right? So, we have understood what the problem is. But then we also need to know what can be done to address the demand. The only way to reduce dependence on organs from living donors is to increase the donations from the dead, which account for a very small proportion of all the transplants in India. In the year 2020, there were around 7,000 transplants in the country, of which nearly 74% were kidney transplants and only 9.4% used organs from the deceased donors. But the disease donations hardly happen in India because people believe in various myths. 
trauma such as road accidents it leads to highest number of brain deaths and these persons are ideal candidates for organ donation experts they said that instances such as the unearthing of these rackets shake people's faith leading them to believe that harvested organs would be sold off by hospitals people can start by pleading their organs to the national organ and tissue transplant organization which is the country's apex network for the coordination of organ procurement and allocation for organ transplant but it is essential that family members must be on board why because even if a person has pledged his or her organs these cannot be harvested if the family members do not give consent after the person's death so are you ready to donate your organs i leave you here to ponder upon this topic